Crazy again, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about all of my pregnancy must-haves, things that I really got to use for my first trimester through my second and third trimesters. I am about 37 weeks now, so I'm almost about to pop, so I know exactly what products that I hoarded or thought I needed in the beginning and then ended up not using at all. So I will talk to you about the things that I actually used and the things that I regret purchasing. Some of these things I researched and really bought and had shipped all the way to the Philippines and I really regret it. And if you're a mama to be, I do not want the same thing to happen to you. So if you guys want to see what my must-haves are and my regrets are, then please do keep on watching. All right guys, first let's talk about the must-haves. So currently I am in my 37th turning 38th week and my belly is getting heavier and heavier and heavier and this is the time when your belly most likely will drop so it gets lower, which puts a lot of pressure on your pelvic muscles or your lower abdomen. And I find that during the day, if I'm doing anything strenuous or late in the afternoons to early evenings, my belly does feel really, really hard and it does need support. And so I'm so happy that I was able to purchase this from Amazon. It is the Belly Band Support from AZ Med. I guess you can buy this at local shops, but I'm not exactly sure where this was. Again, an Amazon purchase. So you strap this onto your belly. There's like a thing here for your belly. And then this is like a Velcro band that you just wrap around the back. Ta-da! And so this you put on your lower belly and it's really gonna help you carry that weight and support your belly from all that pressure and excess weight. I found that this was really useful. It really helped me a lot, especially at the times when I wanna exercise or I wanna go walking. And there's just a lot of pressure on my belly. Instead of having to hold my belly up, manually by hand this just makes it so much easier so i really really recommend this one for later in your pregnancy second thing that i've been absolutely loving is definitely must have i also ordered from amazon but again you can find dupes of it here locally in the philippines you can order it online um, i'm gonna find links to where you can find similar ones online but i'm not exactly sure if the quality will be the same the item is my pregnancy pillow i use it every single night starting when my belly became a little bit bigger. So I think the moment I reached my late second trimester to early third trimester, I've been using this every single day, every single night, I mean, when going to bed. It's just because it provides your stomach with support. I find that if I just use a pillow and I put another pillow in between my legs, there isn't much support on my back and my belly. Whereas this pregnancy pillow is so big, it really like wraps you around. And no matter where I twist and turn, um, it really provides me with the support that I need and the comfort that I need. It's hard to fall back asleep, especially because I wake up every hour to pee and that's gonna happen to you too, mama. So <laughs> make sure that when you get back in your bed, there is something comfortable waiting for you so you can fall back asleep faster. And that has definitely been the pregnancy pillow for me. My sister-in-law did lend me a pregnancy pillow that she bought herself um, when she was pregnant, but I found that that one was a little bit smaller. So I personally feel that size does matter. The pregnancy pillow that she lent me, I use for naps, but if I use it for a night, I find that it's too small. And the one that I bought is a lot bigger and it really like hugs my whole body and makes me feel so comfortable. So that might be something that you consider when you're looking for dupes for this product. The third must have that I will talk about are pregnancy bras. They don't have to be the ones that you use for postpartum, like the ones for nursing, but definitely get something that's a size bigger or stretchy enough to fit your boobs because they will grow. And I really thought to myself like, eh, they're not gonna grow that much. I have bras that are a little bit bigger that I didn't really use before I was pregnant and I'm sure I'll fit into those, but you will really grow sideways and front ways, boobs and like here. So you really need something to support the girls. They say that it's not breastfeeding that causes your boobs to sag, it's pregnancy. And I think it's because your boobs grow at such a rapid rate and then if you don't offer it that support, then it becomes saggy. So you don't want that to happen. You need to have all the support. Your girls need the support. And so I highly recommend that you invest in a good pregnancy bra. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to buy a lot of pregnancy bras because um, we are on ECQ and by the time that I felt like I really needed a bigger size. I couldn't go out and buy it anymore. So I've been using my bigger sports bras, but they tend to be 
feeling very constricting. So just something that you can grow into, something that's expandable, something that's breathable will be fine. Okay, another thing on my list are the oils and creams that you will use for your stretch marks. My mom's belly was covered in stretch marks and they say that it's really genetic if you get it or not. So it doesn't matter if you put oils or creams. If your mom has it, you'll most likely get it too. My mom's belly is full of stretch marks and I already expected that I would be the same but I still religiously put on oils and creams on my belly and I will put a link up here and down below so you guys can check out what my body routine is but honestly um, I still don't have stretch marks and I'm about to pop so hopefully hopefully I will not develop them but yeah I mean might as well it's worth a shot right also if you keep your body moisturized then there is less likely of a chance it becomes itchy and you scratch it and they say that when you scratch it that's actually what breaks the collagen in your skin and that's what causes the stretch marks so if you keep your body hydrated and moisturized then there is a less likely chance that you will scratch it and less likely chance that you will develop stretch marks yourself so earlier this morning i saw a post on um, instagram and it said perks of being pregnant and one of the perks of being pregnant was that you have the best boobs of your life the best hair of your life the best skin of your life and the best nails of your life and honestly like i've always had hair problems because i tend to over process my hair like it's always dyed it's always treated it's always like heat style because of all the events and the stuff that i have to do for work but recently like i've had zero problems with my hair it's been very healthy growing healthily <laughs> and my scalp has no problems at all either my nails i haven't gotten them done in so long but they are healthy um usually my nails are very brittle and the sides the cuticles even though i don't get them cut when I get a manicure they always start peeling but ever since I got pregnant like they have been super healthy and clean and fresh and I'm so so happy and I think part of that is of course the pregnancy hormones because they say that, that that's really a side effect of pregnancy but also I think it's my prenatals because I've been taking so many vitamins in the day like I feel like that's really helped as well I'm using the new chapter prenatals and I also have a separate DHA pill that I take at night I have malungai pills I have I'm taking evening primrose oil now which was recommended by my dermatologist and I'm also taking vitamin D3 and folic acid that's a lot and in a day oh my gosh I eat a lot of vitamins so definitely these are must-haves I would say ask your OB what you can take and definitely take it religiously because I feel like it's helped a lot with not only the physical but also dealing with my nausea especially in the first trimester speaking of nausea in your first trimester my first trimester was really really bad I could not get out of bed I was in the couch the whole day because I just feeling super nauseous I couldn't keep anything down I couldn't eat anything that had flavor potatoes and bread and noodles are my best friend it was really really bad so I recommend getting soda water that really helped me a lot sparkling water if you don't have soda water or soda water if you don't have sparkling water anything with bubbles try not to use coca-cola or sprite because that's just gonna give you added sugar and you don't want that because you might develop gestational diabetes but some kind of carbonated drink will really help you burp it out kind of and it really relieved all my nausea i didn't want to drink it because i was scared that it would aggravate my nausea but it actually really helped it so if you're dealing with that then try that for heartburn what i really what really helped me was tums but again you want to consult with your ob if you're safe to take it there's another pill that i took it wasn't a pill it was kind of like a a medicine in a liquid bottle form called Maalox and I took it once because I googled it and Google said just take it if you really really need it so I took it once when my acid was really really bad and that helped me too but now when I get heartburn I take Tom's and it usually calms down the acids in my stomach so that's something that you can look into as well also you get shortness of breath when you're pregnant it's very very important to keep yourself hydrated when you keep yourself hydrated you also tend to develop less Braxton Hicks your skin is better moisturized and you scratch less and it's just very important to keep hydrated so I always have this bottle with me Ta -da! Um, any water bottle will do but this is definitely a must-have of mine and it has to have a straw so that I don't have an excuse it's just so easy to drink and even you're pregnant you become super duper lazy and so even like unscrewing the cap of a bottle can cause you to be like I won't drink water because I'm so tired this one is really handy because you just 
and done. You have no excuse. And um, it feels really good to drink water as well when you're pregnant. So always remember to keep hydrated, mama. And my last pregnancy must have is something that I discovered just recently, and it is an exercise app called Juno Mom's app. You can download whatever app you like, but for me personally, the app that I really found use, I use it every single day, is the Juno Mom's app because it gave me a schedule and a workout to do every single day. Well, not every single day, like four times a week, it gives you a workout to do. It really helped me stay with the schedule and push myself to really maintain the daily workouts, which I hope will help me have a normal delivery. Obviously, we can't tell if I'm gonna have a CS or a normal delivery. I'm hoping for a normal delivery. And they say that exercise will really help you get there and get there fast and easy and have an easy labor. And so I'm really hoping that this app helps me for the actual labor, but so far so good. A lot of pregnancy videos that I watch, they always say that they have back pains and everything's painful, stuff like that. But thankfully, I have not had any back pains. I think the pains that I'm feeling are very much controllable. And I think it's highly due to the fact that I keep active and I'm exercising my body. I make sure not to strain it. And the cool thing about the this app is that it really makes workouts specifically for the trimester that you're in and the week that you're in. So now if you look at it, the exercises seem so easy, but because I'm already like really, really big, it's hard to do. So they kind of like really customize the programs for your specific needs, if that makes sense. So that's definitely something that I highly recommend. All right guys, now let's talk regrets. Now these are things that again, I have researched. I watched so many YouTube videos about what I need to get when you're pregnant, like pregnancy must have videos. And I ordered it all online, some from Amazon and I had it shipped all the way to the Philippines. And some I did not find use for at all, which is very unfortunate. And so the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about is the pillow wedge. A lot of people really recommended this. And so I bought it together with my pregnancy pillow. But I find that if you already have a pregnancy pillow, the wedge is kind of useless because you already have like this huge pillow surrounding you where you're gonna put the wedge if you put the wedge and the pillow the pregnancy pillow there's no there's not enough space you know what I mean maybe get one or the other if you don't want to get a pregnancy pillow then get the pregnancy wedge but I also find that you can just use a towel or you can just use like any thin pillow to put between yourself and the mattress so you don't really need to invest in a wedge like kind of useless so um, yeah that's definitely a, a regret of mine I thought it was useful at first but like you don't have to buy a whole new pillow to get the same satisfaction so sayang lang next thing I regret are pregnancy leggings so I invested in so many I have the blankie leggings which offer you so much support they're really great it's just that it's so hot these days and living in a tropical country who really wants to wear leggings like it's so hot and sticky and especially because I developed a PUPPP rash or the pup rash my OB told me not to wear anything tight or constricting on my body they're really useless they're quite pricey but I haven't got my money's worth I feel because I can count how many times I use them with my with my one hand and it's so sayang. I also bought a ton of different leggings from Amazon. A lot of them I did not even wear once because they just looked so weird. So it's better if you really go in the shop and then try it out yourself and then if you like it then buy it because online you really can't tell if the quality is good or not or if the fabric is something you're comfortable with or not. But I really regret buying leggings because online everyone's telling you like, oh they're so comfortable, buy leggings, buy a ton of leggings. I lived in leggings when I was pregnant. But all these videos that I've been watching are like, European videos or like in the Western world like in the US where it's cold and here in the Philippines It's so hot and humid. So parang it's really not the same. So I really regret buying those Also another thing that I regret buying are the support tanks like I, I also have two from Blanky which Again, yeah, they're great. I saw an ad like Solan was wearing it and Curtis was wearing it. I guess they're great if you need to go to the office or if you're always in a cold place and you need the support. Yes, but again, I just found it so hot and so constricting on my body. It I find I found it weird to wear alone because my mom or other people around me would always comment like, what are you wearing? Is that an inner? Is that like an underwear for pregnant people? So it didn't look like a top because people noticed it. And then it was just so tight and the fabric was, because it had all the support, the fabric was in it and I don't know, I just I did not find it comfortable at all. So that is 
another thing that I regret buying. When I was in my first trimester, I mentioned that I had really serious bouts of nausea and my morning sickness was a whole day sickness that lasted me for five months. It was really, really bad. And so I was so desperate to cure it. I took a lot of advice from you guys online and also my friends and they told me to buy ginger candies. So I bought all the ginger candies that I could find from Healthy Options and I just hated the taste. So in the end, I didn't eat it. I regret buying it. They're kind of expensive. Like for one little tin, it's like 600 bucks or 900 bucks. And I had like three or four of them and because I did not enjoy the taste of ginger, I ended up not eating it at all. So my advice is, yes, maybe it works, but don't be like me and whore. Just try one first. If you like it, then buy another. Because sayang lang all the ginger candies, I will not be eating it. I did not like it. And so it did not help me with my nausea at all. Another thing they told me to buy to ease the nausea was pregnancy teas. And again, because it's so hot, I was not able to use the teas because who wants to drink tea when it's summer outside, you know, unless you ice the tea. But that's an additional step that this pregnant mama is too lazy to do. So that's another thing that I regret buying. I feel like you don't need a pregnancy tea. You can just use a chamomile or a peppermint or anything that's caffeine free. It doesn't necessarily have to be for pregnancy unless you're into teas and you like to experience different flavors and stuff like that. But I personally found it a little like frou-frou and not really something that you need. So it's also something that I regret. And last but not the least is I regret investing in swimwear for pregnant ladies. Like I bought swimwear that was a size bigger and I bought swimwear that would like it would it was cute because it would cover my belly because it was high waisted but I just found that the more I progressed through this pregnancy the more I grew in size and so I wore it once and then the second time I wanted to wear it I was already a large when I bought the large I was already an XL and stuff like that so I feel like if you invest in swimwear just invest in the ones that you can adjust yourself like the string bikinis I know they're really racy they're very showy but that's what I've been using because it doesn't matter how big you are your stomach can hang loose there's no fabric clinging to it it's very comfortable you can adjust it depending on the size that you are currently in and I, I live in those swimmies and you can even use the tops as bras if you don't have any bras anymore that fit you. So definitely recommend investing in like adjustable bikini tops but not bikini tops that are meant, not bikini tops and bottoms or swimwear in general that are meant for pregnancy because it's just so masikip. Like I can't imagine wearing a one-piece suit right now. Like it's just it's too much. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out if you are a mama-to-be, if you are thinking of what to buy and what you need for your pregnancy. I know a lot of people also watching this are not pregnant. You always tell me like, I'm not pregnant but I'm watching this. So thank you so much as well because you're keeping this channel going, you're supporting me and I really really appreciate it. Please don't forget to leave me a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the notification bell so you get notified every time I have a new video. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!